morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is April. I'm a nurse practitioner student, and I am almost done with school. I finish in August, so I'm very excited. But I do like week in my life to show you guys like what I do during the week, being a nurse and almost done with NP school. So today's Monday. It's Memorial Day. We were at a wedding this weekend and I had family in town, so we don't really have any plans for today. I have to treat today like Sunday to kind of catch up. I've got a load of laundry going right now. I um, actually need to pull that out of the dryer and switch it around. I just finished editing the vlog from last week. It's going up a little late because like I said, it was kind of a busy weekend. Um, so that's kind of the plan for today. Got some studying I need to do. I need to work on a presentation that I have to do tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, and need to work out, clean up the house, tidy, things like that. Tomorrow I am in class and then Wednesday and Friday I am in clinicals. Thursday I work in the hospital and on Saturday I work um, at the med spa IV bar, IV bar place. So busy week ahead but it's going to be a good week and I'm really thankful to have like a Monday off. It feels nice. feels like a shorter week. So yeah, welcome back to my channel and let's have a good week. All right, I just got my video posted, so we're all done with that. And also, I'm sorry for my outfit, like, and the way that I appear. It's just, you know, I don't have any laundry left. Like, I have absolutely nothing. So, um, now, what am I gonna do now? Okay, so let me show you guys. This is my PowerPoint. I have to present on vaccines. I already talked to you guys about this, but um, I'm doing it on the <coughs> Pfizer vaccine. Camper, stop. I'm doing it on the Pfizer vaccine, and it's only, like, it's technically nine slides, but only eight, and I have to do just, like, a quick little presentation on it in three to five minutes. So I just need to run over, like, what I'm going to say, and then I'm going to turn it in and be done with it. The amount of presentations that I've had to do in this program, we do at least one every semester, but for all of my clinical semesters, I've had to do at least two. So there's four clinical semesters, so that's eight. There's four didactic, so that is 12, but last semester I had to do three, so that's 13. So I've had to do at least 13 um, presentations, and so it doesn't even bother me anymore. I'm just like, whatever like throw me up there, which is probably, that's the point. So anyway, I need to figure out what I'm gonna say. It's gotta be quick, 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 quick. over from yesterday I'm learning the immunizations like I said earlier and they're so hard like oh I don't like it but anyway um just a little like pro tip for studying if you're um, a visual and um is a writing a writing learner is not a thing but like when I learn how I learn best is like writing stuff down that is like important so for example that isn't a good one um MRSA just off the top of my head what antibiotics can children have that treat MRSA and just like write it down it, that's just how it like sticks in my head the best but this is just like a tip to get a little whiteboard expo marker help with learning all right you guys a couple hours later it's the evening time and I just need to put away laundry and then I'm literally sitting down for the rest of the night. I think it's gonna storm, so it's gonna be like a cozy night. Tomorrow is class day, but I need to plan out my week. Just kind of write down so I make sure I don't forget anything. I have like a few things written down, but did that today. 
Okay, so class, Evan's face to do. I'm gonna work out tomorrow. I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I kind of want to make like a list of, I've found a few really good recipes on Instagram. Well, I can't say they're really good. I haven't made them yet, but they look really good. I could show you guys. Um, I don't even follow this account. They just keep popping up on my For You page and it looks, everything looks like amazing. Mm. So I really want to make this vegan burrito bowl. Look at that looks so good it's from the account vegan food friends and then this mexi bowl that looks super good too <laughs> if you can tell i really like rice and beans and avocado <laughs> like that's a great meal for me and then a summer corn salad with avocado super good and super simple like a great meal i mean a great lunch meal and then there's also this vegan chili that i saw which looks super good. So I might write down like a few things that I need, make like a grocery list. I never make a grocery list, but it's probably good to start because I'm really sick of the same old, same old like spaghetti, tacos, um, rice, chicken, veggie chicken. Like that's, those are our like three staple meals, a leftovers night. And then from there we're like, what do we make to eat? But we do that tomorrow. Wednesday is practicum. I want to go to the gym then too. Thursday is hospital work. So I, I don't plan anything else when I work in the hospital. Like I'm not going to the gym. I'm literally going to the hospital and coming home, going to bed. And I actually want to start studying. So I have an exam next week. So I'm going to write exam one study starting. I'll probably start tomorrow like officially studying but i'm gonna write it down for wednesday mm, and then friday will be exam one study i'll probably do a little bit of studying on saturday too if i have time and then next sunday will also be exam one study get my youtube video up it's been hard for me to juggle like all of the social medias and um like and class and making YouTube videos right now. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the evening. Now we're gonna watch Survivor. We got the subscription to, what's it called? Paramount Plus because we didn't finish um, season 30, but we caved. I'll see you guys in the morning though. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning. I'm just making myself a coffee. I made this the coconut over ice um, espresso and put it in the freezer for a little bit so it could cool down so it didn't immediately melt my ice, but it's literally still steaming and I have to go. So it is what it is. And then I'm using this Chobani creamer never used it with this so hopefully it goes okay and that's what it is we're doing this today because I'm out of oat milk so I can't make a latte pretty good but needs more ice though I like it's not it's lukewarm but the plan today is class club bus <laughs> not a bus that sounds like um no it's class trader joe's workout home to study that's the plan i have a test next week i told you guys about that um but everything is good good morning let's have a day a few hours later i just finished class world's most stressful morning i sat in traffic to get off of my exit onto the freeway for 45 minutes i left my house at eight o'clock it usually takes me half an hour to get downtown 45 minutes to get literally five minutes to the freeway and then i couldn't get that way so then i had to go like all the way up and around onto another freeway i was 20 minutes late for class she docks us off if we're late which that sucks but whatever it's my last semester like i can't do anything about it i can't 
I can't. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave my house so early. They're doing like construction and it's so annoying. But anyway, um, class was really good. We had an exam review, played Jeopardy, um, did some other fun stuff. And I'm headed to Trader Joe's now to get some groceries and then to the gym. That's the plan. So I'm very excited for Trader Joe's. I feel like I haven't been in a while, but I was definitely there last week. So let's go to TJ's. I'm gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. We got two bags of spinach, some lettuce. This is my favorite bread from Trader Joe's. I think I've told you guys about that. Got some blueberries, a thing of um, cashew yogurt for a recipe I'm making. These ABC bars, these are really good. I've heard that if you heat these up in the microwave for like 10 seconds, they're extra good, but I've never tried it. Some dog treats. Um, one of the recipes that I'm making is like um, an Indian curry recipe. So I got some masala simmer sauce. Coconut milk for that same recipe. It, the, the recipes that I showed you guys yesterday. Diced tomatoes, cumin garlic i'm making um like a garlic pasta black beans corn got some um indian style flatbread which i think it's supposed to be like non hopefully it is some almond milk oat milk i ended up getting grapeseed oil because all of the oil at trader joe's the olive oil is like extra extra virgin olive oil and I don't want extra virgin olive oil. I want just like regular olive oil. Um, some broccoli. This is for my husband. This um, tofu fried rice, green beans, cucumber. This is also for my husband, toaster waffles. Just like a few things that, you know, make him happy. <laughs> I got some tofu, an onion cilantro, cauliflower. We actually um, chop up cauliflower and put it with the dog's um, food in the evening because um, they like it. They really like veggies and it helps to like keep their weight low. Not low, but keep them at a healthy weight, you know? Um, some berries for smoothies and an avocado. Oh, and then I got these, um, I already ate some of these, these pita chips in the car, but Pro tip, you guys probably already know this, but I'm just dumb and like didn't think that it was a good I like I just didn't think about it ever. Um, I used to always go to the grocery store without a list and I like looked up recipes today, I mean yesterday and made a list and I spent $50 less at the grocery store than I normally do because I usually just wander around the aisles and like throw things in that I know that we probably will eat. But now that I have like specific recipes for the week, I think I'll have much less food waste and spend less. So pro tip for grocery shopping, make a list. You guys, look at this dinner that I made. I'm actually so proud of myself. This is the chickpea curry that I showed you guys the recipe before yesterday. And then I made some naan. I just put some oil, um, some vegan Parmesan cheese and garlic in like a, in a, like a little saucepan stirred it up and put it on the naan and then I baked the naan for like five minutes and I've already tasted it and it's super good I'm like so proud of myself so this is like restaurant quality it's not my recipe the naan is my recipe but the actual curry is not my recipe so freaking good I'll link the recipe if you guys want to use it good morning you guys from a spot in the car. I just got to clinicals um, 7.47, it's almost 7.50. So I'm about to go inside, but it's Wednesday. We're back at clinicals today. I'm feeling a little sleepy this morning. I really took advantage of sleeping in this weekend, so like threw off my schedule, but <clears throat> It's all good today the plan in clinicals is to see of the lot a lot of the patients 
um, by myself, do some diagnosing and like recommending treatment. Obviously not actually like, I never actually put in medications and send them to the pharmacy because it's not under my license yet. I don't have a nurse practitioner license. So it's just like, what do you recommend? So that's the plan for today and clinicals. And then I usually get like an hour lunch break. So I'm going to try to hit some studying during my lunch break and finish clinicals, go to the gym. And then I'm going to try to study some tonight. But the problem is like by the time I go to the gym and then get home, shower, you know, make dinner, walk the dogs, it's like at least eight o'clock. And I just want to sit on the couch and not like think about anything. I think that's the problem that everybody who works a nine to five faces. Um, but I need to probably get in like an hour of studying tonight. So we'll see how that goes. It's just, you know, whenever I have to do this, like prior to a test, I just tell myself it's just a week. It's not that big of a deal um, to lose like an hour of TV time essentially. So it's cool everything's good oh last night we went to see top gun with some friends it was so freaking good i've never seen the first top gun um but now i'm like i need to watch it because this movie was so good like <laughs> this sounds so dramatic but like change your life type of good it was you know when you walk out of the thing and you're like oh my god my life has changed forever because i saw that movie that's what i felt like so 10 out of 10 recommend if you haven't seen it like make it your weekend plan to go watch Top Gun but I'm a little extra tired this morning because I was up too late and that seems to be the theme of the last couple of weeks because most of this is the thing most of my friends are teachers and they just got out of school for the summer and they have all this free time and I still have to work <laughs> and you know do school and stuff so it's kind of hard to say no, but I'll find the balance. Um, anyway, let's go into clinicals. The only spot that you guys have seen me today in my car. It's way too hot to be wearing this jacket, but it's like freezing inside my building. Um, done with clinicals for the day. A really good day. We definitely met the goal. I think I saw every. T-Swift girly. Is it turning off? Okay. Um, I think I saw all but four patients today, which is kind of crazy. Um, I don't know how many patients we saw total, but it was at least, at least 15. But I think more than that. Maybe like 17 to 20. Um, but yeah, it went good. And I don't really, yeah, it went fine. There's really nothing else more to say about it. Um, I think a lot of sick visits, sick visits are my favorite because, um, I don't have to remember developmental things like with well checks, you need to like know the develop, like where they should be developing. Um, where they should be at, what they should be able to do, and then obviously if they're not doing it, it's automatically like doing an autism screen or something like that, which isn't hard, but I don't know it that well. So I like sick visits because it's like, how long has this been going on? What's going on? And usually it's viral, <laughs> you know, it's like that type of thing. So good day. The fact that I have to work in the hospital tomorrow is really crushing my mood. I need to see which way is the fastest way to get to the gym. What's the chapel? Go into the chapel and mm. 49 minutes, that's not bad. Okay. Um anyway, it's really harshing my mellow because it like sucks. Starting it doesn't suck. Sometimes it doesn't Chapel. suck, but some days it Ten really does suck. You know what I mean? <laughs> some days it's really hard. Some days it's really good. But 
overall I hate like is it down over here hmm. overall I just am over working in the hospital so and I was just talking to my husband last night because I'm feeling very overwhelmed since I signed up for the HESI yesterday and that my month of July is going to be nearly impossible. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna be doing at least three to four days of clinicals here. I'm taking one vacation. I'm missing school even though I'm not supposed to. Um, I'm also gonna be studying for the HESI while doing a review course and like all of my stupid little, stupid, stupid, stupid little things that they have us do like papers, projects, smart goals are due in July. Everything's due in July. I'm like, my life is gonna suck in July and it's stressing me out. And so I'm like, do I, how am I going to work in July as well? Like, do I just quit my job before? But like, I need the money. Do I just live off of like rice and beans, my savings? I don't know. I'm gonna make a decision about that soon though because I didn't foresee myself leaving because I'm scared it, like I have a, I have a big fear that I won't get a job as a nurse practitioner right like when I'm done so I don't really know what to do because I need to work I need to make money anyway I'm going to the gym I need to like de-stress I could cry. I'm so exhausted, I could cry. I just got off of work at the hospital and I had seven patients today. I have, I clocked out at 7.45 and ate a granola bar. That was the first time I had eaten in 24 hours. I had not had a sip of water. I had to go to the bathroom once today because it's my time of the month and I like had to change because I was like, I'm literally, I mean, this is TMI, but I'm like, I'm literally, you know, you know, you know. I, that was literal, that was disgusting. Disgusting, like they just kept slamming us with post-ops, ICU transfers, EDs. The whole hospital was so full, but we weren't on surge. I'm like, why are we not on surge when like PCU had eight patients each? PCU, eight patients. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. This is like putting my license at risk. Today, I don't, I barely know any of my patients. Like, I'm just keeping them alive at this point and I, I don't like it because I feel like a bad nurse. I feel like, I'm not making a connection. I feel like I can't anticipate things happening if I'm not at the bedside because I have so many damn patients. I've just been pulled constantly from every which way and I'm freaking exhausted. Like I never wanna do this ever again. I cannot wait to be done with like hospital nursing. It's the worst, it's so bad. It's literally about to downpour on my way home so that's cool but I just had to like rant about it because I'm pissed. I'm like, since when is this okay to treat nurses like hire people? People want to work. Gas is almost $5. Like people want to work. There's no way that they don't. Done. Sorry. Good morning, you guys. I swear I'm literally always in my car. My husband yesterday, if you're watching this, hi, Seth, um, was like, I watched your vlog and you're literally always in the car. And I was like, yeah, I live in the car. Look at my gas mileage. <laughs> I'm in the car constantly. So good morning. It is Friday morning. The last clip that you saw was very um, annoyed and just not having a good day. 
<clears throat> it was a rough day at the hospital yesterday. Once again, I feel like I got hit by a truck, but I'm happier this morning because I'm going to the Peds Clinic, which is just a great place to be. So let me fix this a little bit here more. That'll have to do. Um, but anyway, going to Pete's Clinicals, gonna be there all day, get some hours in, and then I'm just gonna treat it like a weekday since I have a test next week that you guys have heard about a hundred times, so I'm sorry for talking about it, but it's the only thing on my mind right now. Um, so I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I think I'm gonna try to fit a couple hours of studying in this evening, um, because I need to. And I know that it kind of sucks because it's, it's a Friday night, but you got to do what you got to do, and your girl's got to pass beat, so it is what it is. Um, having a cup of coffee this morning, I accidentally put a little bit too much sweetener in it, so that kind of sucks, but it's cool. I feel like I wanted to chat. I felt chatty this morning, but I don't really know what I want to chat about. Making this recipe for dinner before, I mean, after I started making it, I realized that it's not actually a recipe and it just tells you like what it uses. So I'm kind of switching it up. It doesn't call for onions, but I'm gonna, it's like a, a garlic pasta. I'm gonna use onions and nutritional yeast. Um, I'm roasting garlic. These are just a few pieces that were done already. And I'm gonna put that in there, which the rest, like the the reel says to do. And then it says to use non-dairy milk. So I'm gonna use oat milk because that will taste better than almond milk. And then, yeah, salt and pepper. Um, and hopefully it turns out good because I'm just winging it. This is the finished product. It's decent. I don't know if I'll make it again, but like, it's not bad. Wild Friday night here, my friends. Headed to the office to study. It's crazy in this household. I'm gonna lock myself in here for, I don't know how long, we'll see. But I'm not in the mood to study. I was just watching Survivor and um, we finished season 30 last week, so we're watching season 31 now. And I just feel like those um, survivors were so good, like better than the ones that are out right now. Because they're not doing that many challenge. If you're a survivor like person, you'll enjoy this, but if you're not, I'm so sorry. Um, they're not doing like reward challenges, it doesn't seem like anymore. They've combined them in the recent, up, um, recent seasons because they're literally starving them to death. And so it's not, it's not as fun to watch because I feel like they're, people are talking more and I'd rather see more um, challenges than hear them talk about their personal life, which I know sounds bad, but that's just like a personal opinion. Um, so yeah, these, I mean like um, this last season was okay. I really liked the people who were playing, but I feel like the best players never win anymore and sometimes you know it's not like they always win but I don't know I like Marianne and I think she was the best she was the one who just recently won I think she was the best one to win out of like the last three but I don't think that she was the best um player in general so but what are you gonna do? I really liked Omar, if you guys watched the last season. He's such a good player, and I can't believe they voted him out and like um, blindsided him. He's so good. Um, but anyway, just a little survivor talk. Um, in a silly, goofy mood tonight, and oh, I have a feeling it's not gonna translate very good to studying, because <laughs> I just feel like my brain has been so combobulated this whole week, like I've just been constantly doing things, but it just kind of hit me um, when I was sitting on the couch watching Survivor, like it's the end of the week and I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow. Uh, actually, I have to be. I'm working at the IV place tomorrow, but I only have, um, you know what, I don't even want to say because I don't want to jinx it because I don't want to do anything tomorrow. <laughs> I have one appointment booked right now. So we'll see how that goes. And I forgot my board which is 
such a good study hack that I talked to you guys about. I love to like write things. Um, so, let me get into it. Um, one more thing, since I'm in such a talking mood tonight, um, today at clinicals, my preceptor told me that she was like, you just like learn so quickly. Like you're probably um, one of the, I don't think that students have been where you are um, at this point, like in two weeks that you're at. And, I'm, and she was like, maybe it's just cause I threw you in, which probably is, but, and I, that's not bragging or anything. I just, it, you know, made me feel good. Um, if there's one thing that I'm good at, it's learning quickly. <laughs> one thing, I'm not good at much, but anyway. Ooh, my mom texted me. All right, gotta go, steady. Good morning, you guys, happy Saturday. I just finished up at the IV bar. I just had one patient this morning at like 10 o'clock and she's always early, which is so nice. So I just got home like 10 minutes ago, it's 10, 15. And um, I am hopefully done for the day, knock on wood. <laughs> guys, I need to get some stuff done. I'm going to start editing this vlog that you guys are watching. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to kind of decipher when I'm going to study. I don't usually like to study on Saturdays because I feel like I need at least one day of full break, um, to like not do anything, but sometimes that just doesn't always happen. So we'll see tonight. We're going to true food kitchen, um, for Seth's birthday, which was last week to celebrate with some friends. So that'll be fun. Um, and that's really the only plans that we have for today so i'm gonna get started working on this vlog so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next week which next week will be a full week of clinicals class than normal you guys know um oh and my test so which you guys have heard a hundred times so we'll see how that goes and i'll see you guys next week bye guys